Hi, this is Jeff from Mobedia, and today I'm going to talk to you about a couple of arrangement building techniques in Pro Tools called clip looping and clip grouping. So first of all, let's take a look at this session. I've got a drum performance and a bass performance, just trying out different ideas to see what I like and what I want to keep as far as building my song up. So let's listen to this for just a second. Cool, so there's a bunch of different musical ideas being tried out there. After recording this material, what I've done is edited down these performances into three different sections. So we've got verse, chorus, and bridge. So we'll go ahead and put those away for a minute, and we'll mute those, and we'll focus on these two tracks here that just have the song sections. So first of all, let's talk about clip looping. To activate or enable clip looping, you simply go to the trimmer, and change it to the loop trimmer. Now you see you have this different type of icon that shows a little curved arrow. So you simply trim this out. I wanna make this verse drum beat 16 bars. Okay, then let go. And it just lets me loop it over and over and over again. If I didn't have loop trimmer on, it would trim out like this, right? Nothing there. So that's the cool thing about clip looping is you can just kind of draw it out Great, so that's the verse that I wanna take this chorus and make this eight bars. So let's trim that out, make it meet up with the bridge. The bridge I'll leave as it is. Now, if we look at the bass line, we've got a couple things going on here and this is where we're gonna talk about clip grouping. So I can go ahead and loop out this verse, but I've got all these different slivers that represent all the edits I've made while chopping up this bass line to find the best bits. What I'm gonna do is actually Select the leftmost and the rightmost, so I've got all of them. And it is almost a four bar loop, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it exactly a four bar loop. And then I'm gonna hit Control Alt G or Apple Option G on a Mac. And that ends up making all those slivers a single clip. I can undo that by hitting Control Alt U or Apple Option U. And there are my edits. So let's go back to this group. And now that I've done that, I can actually go ahead and loop that whole section to fill out my chorus. And then finally for the bridge, I'm just going to make another clip group. So this is just a quick overview of clip grouping and clip looping, very useful tools for building up your song arrangement in Pro Tools. So thanks for checking out the video. This is Jeff from Obedia.